What's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 7, adding some style to our GUI, our graphical user interface. There's some free images down below in the description box. Feel free to use them along with this tutorial. Okay, and this is what you've got to do. If you're following along making this tool, um, if you've made a folder, hopefully it's got a main.py in there, which is going to contain the, um, the code for the tutorials. Okay, and then you can just place the images in that folder alright we're gonna create a new folder for the zip I think um, it's called Python spin or something like that if I remember we'll find out in a minute so I've just created a folder called zips in my in my project okay I'm just gonna copy this which you can find in the description as well it's pyspin.zip alright which is a collection of images which is um, gonna be a rotating logo Right, so we just paste it into the zips folder, okay, and we should be good to go. All we've got to do is just one box below the first box layout. Let's just check everything's all right here and run it. This is our old user interface, all right, it's very plain, all right, still looks okay, but why not take advantage of Kivi's um, facilities? and Kivi's um, utilities to make it look a bit better so what we're going to do is we're going to create a canvas a blank canvas there's nothing better than a blank canvas okay all right so let's do that like so just underneath the first box layout okay and it's going to be a rectangle and this is what's going to contain our main background. So we have to put the source, which is obviously going to be the file, which uh, I named, what did I name it? KPBG.jpg. Okay. And as you can see on the right hand side, there's a little example of uh, what it's going to look like. Uh, okay, I'm sure you guys can come up with uh, something better. I was pretty pleased with that, but I'm sure there's some uh, great minds out there that are listening in. Okay, position self dot position and size. Actually, what I'm gonna do this is neaten this up, and obviously it's not gonna show why. Well, because I'm doing this live. I've named the file wrong. I've put a, I put a dot there instead of a one of those line things that go horizontally. <laughs> All right, so there's the background. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, what do we want to do? Let's add a little spinning logo. So we could do image under the client box. Okay, so it's going to be contained within the client box where the clients our our device's information is going to be stored and it's going to be source is zips slash pyspin.zip all right okay and that should be all good and you can uh, mess around with the um the frame rates okay to see what's best for you and obviously the size and stuff and name underscore delay okay now I just want to repeat I'm not an expert all right I never claim to be okay I'm still learning I'm learning just like you guys I just um, the whole purpose of my tutorials is if I inspire one of you to uh, to grow to love coding or, or just to create anything uh, regardless of coding whatever it is if I inspire one of you to do what um, what you want to do then my job is done okay so I'm happy so now we're putting pause hint position hint we want to move it to the left okay so that it doesn't um, get in the way of the information that if config is going to display all right so we want it in the corner somewhere which is uh, looking pretty good there okay now there's a bit of a problem the text input is covering it's the IP version 6 I believe but that's okay because we're going to resize the text input because it's too big anyway all right, you're not going to put more than I would have said five characters in there, okay? Unless you got some weird sounding 
uh, interface there. Okay, it's usually E0, WLAN0, WLAN1, or something like that. Alright, so we're going to put a box layout. Okay. And we're going to put the text input in that box layout. <coughs> Alright. And let's change the width to 0.2. Let's see what that's like. Right, obviously it's the only um, widget in the box layout, so it's going to take the whole thing. Alright, that's not going to change anything. Because it's the only widget in the box layout. So, I'm going to add a switch, which we will be using in future. Okay, so let's add a little switch. Obviously, we have to import a switch. Otherwise, Kivi is going to ask me what the hell a switch is. So, from Kivi. UIX dot switch lowercase import switch uppercase a first s yeah okay so let's come down here let's import that switch so it's going to be side by side by the uh, text input all right now we could have just had some boring interface there with some black background and you know but we want to do our best right so let's see what this looks like okay so that's looking a lot better it looks like there's uh, more space for the information we need okay let's just test it out yep and that's perfect now oh, that's good to me Alright, so we can see everything. The buttons look a bit slim to me at the moment. So we might uh, make them a bit bigger in a little while. Let's just see what the nodes look like on the scroll view. Okay, now that could look better as well. If you agree, say yeah. So, uh, what I want to do is make the logo, the Python logo in the background there, show through. Alright, so... I've made um, I've made some um, see-through backgrounds. Okay, but first of all, I'm just going to add a button, and it's going to say, uh, "What should we do?" Possibilities are endless. We might even use a bit of Nmap in this tool. Why not? Why not? Maybe, maybe it might be in the next tutorial. It may not. Who knows? Who knows? That's the great thing about technology, networking, uh, pen testing, infosec, all these technologies, the possibilities are really endless guys. Alright, you can do what your heart desires. Okay, so let's just leave that as that. Obviously the Nmap button is not connected to anything at the moment. Right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to put a background now in this little block here, it's up to you if you want to put a try accept in the art scan, that's up to you to uh, mitigate alright, sanitize I'm going to leave that to you guys we're going to put a see-through background on our nodes which is going to be black okay, and make the green right in stand out and also we'll be able to see the Python logo in the background show through as well sort of backtrack-esque I would have said or I would see alright so if config up scan let's see our nodes come up if we have any yeah now that looks better to me now they will scroll, but obviously there's not enough nodes, nodes there uh, at the moment, but I'm going to resize it, alright, just so they squash together, okay, just so I can show you, see, 
all right so they're scrolling so obviously if you've got like uh, maybe seven or so nodes or more they're gonna scroll so you can scroll through them all right so that looks pretty good to me it could do with a new line under host is up but we can do that in another tutorial and that's full size that still doesn't look too bad okay obviously you can mess around with it on your screen size and um, see what happens all right I'm just scanning again and we've got more nodes and that's fine okay so what are we gonna do now let's see what can we think of let's um, let's change the uh, the color of the button text okay which we can do up here in the KV language if you remember from um, the pre previous tutorials we can do this by just setting the mark up to true all right it's just like a HTML CSS style sheet all right color equals green and close it off simple as that okay that's done let's change the uh, size of this make it a bit taller okay let's do the same for all buttons so let's just do that now you, sh you should have uh, received the hopefully you should have got a code in the last tutorial so you should be up to speed if there's any issues or anything just let me know and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can all right I do have a full-time job as well I'm doing this on the side so um, yeah I'll do what I can when I can all right guys more than happy to help though okay and I appreciate the support so far all right and it would help if I put markup equals true yeah all right let's just put markup equals true again and I've forgotten to make them taller but let's run it and get rid of that and change this to end map scan I may do an end map scan um, in the next tutorial or I may just do some um, some uh, reconnaissance function just to determine the operating system maybe for the nodes yeah let's make those taller um, some OS fingerprinting maybe we'll see and then we can get onto the next screen okay that looks a lot better but what will look look a lot better than that let's change the backgrounds to them as well alright so the same background as the as the nodes and that should look perfect alright so background normal so this means when the buttons not pressed okay I want you to display the background image button bg.png okay that's fine let's take this down and we'll paste that there and that looks a lot better how about that guys yeah right so up scan and this is our GUI look and that looks pretty mean I'm happy with that that looks pretty cool maybe some spinning logos on the nodes as well maybe that'll look good Let's see if I can do that for the next tutorial alright so got the text input there E0 is not connected let's do the art scan hopefully nothing comes up nothing comes up brilliant and test it again okay brilliant all right, I just want to say a big thank you to Pentest Skills on Twitter. He's also got a YouTube channel. Thanks for the support, man. He's been there from the start. He's got some brilliant skills. I've seen his code. The guy is really good. All right. Um, I encourage you to follow him and uh, check out his channel as well. He's got some cool stuff on there. All right. Thanks again, Pentest. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.
Thank you for the support so far. If you like what you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next tutorials. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.